It's Mark Magnus, yo! And we're here today in Hotel 101 Manila. It's gonna be a quick review slash first impression of this hotel. All right, let's start with right here. We come in from the door and there's this closet. We got some hangers, comes with a bathrobe. Um, they got, wow, there's a drawer here. Pretty awesome that they included the uh, a safety deposit box that's pretty you know standard but some hotels don't have it they give you a free chinelas and then on the other side of it is nothing hang stuff there and then you got more little cubby holes and then right here is the bathroom it's also a sliding door you got a stand-up mirror right here so I don't know what it's like if they have like some sort of suite. I don't know what that'll look like, but I believe this is a standard room that I reserved. I mean, it's not bad. Also not amazing either. I've seen way more amazing bathrooms in other hotels. Yeah, a really nice bathroom can really change your how you feel about a room, actually. Yeah, it's one of those like stand-up ones, there's no bathtub, so that's fine. They got a bidet, though. Yeah! They also have these, which are... It's a dental kit. I don't know what that means. I guess they're just toothbrushes. It's a vanity for the vain people of the world. Blow dryer. Alright. Yeah, let's check it. There's a little kitchen-like area here. There is this uh, sink. It works. It's a couple of coffee cups. There's actually some snacks here. They have a water heating thingy. They've got like the prices here, which I'm kind of amazed because it's not as expensive as I was expecting. There is a San Miguel light in San Miguel. Pale Pilsen beer that's already inside this tiny refrigerator right here. And yeah, the San Miguel light is only 58 pesos, which I don't know what it is normally when you buy it outside of the Philippines, but if you convert that in the US, that's only a dollar and some change. That's some really cheap beer. And it's also really cool that one of the, like, the bottled water is complimentary. And the Oishi pillows, also complimentary. Uh, it's pretty rare that they give you complimentary snacks in most hotels. Let's check out this little, tiny little refrigerator here. Boom. We got like these guys, got that, and that. And uh, that pretty much is it. really tiny. All right, and then now let's check. Oh, oh, there's a microwave right here. It's Samsung, it rotates. That's, that's pretty cool. It's one of those oscillating ones. The freak, there's a K, something to put in here. Alright, that's cool. Um, and another, hopefully nothing pops out while I'm vlogging. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, there's nothing in there, but it's cool that they have storage. Mm. Holy crap, I made a sound. Mm -hmm. oh my god, that was terrifying. Alright, so this is the room, the actual bed and stuff. It comes with, I believe this is a queen size bed, and it comes with like a Twin. I don't know why. I remember putting in that there's two people staying in here, but there's another bed. I guess that's cool. We can use it as a couch. It's got this little side counter here thing, and they got like a charging port there, an outlet, they got a TV, they got another one here, and a charging outlet. They have a nice little view with this really clean window pane of the street, one of the main streets out here. And actually right there, you probably can't really see, but... Okay, so right there, that's SM Mall of Asia. So it's definitely walking distance. And 
and right around here there's like some Starbucks and McDonald's and all that stuff. There's also like a table and a chair, like a little study desk. And also next to next door, there's a Jollibee. And the Met Live is right in front of us. Met Live. Yep. I don't know if I'll ever have an event to go there to. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty nice. I mean, the beds are nice. The hotel is compact. It's not super tiny. It doesn't make it feel like it's super tiny. It's like a standard size. They have tiles on the floor, which is fine by me. I'm not a huge carpet fan anyways. It's, it's cool so far. Also very interesting, um, it's kind of the coronavirus scare going on right now. Hey, it's present day Mark. I say on here coronavirus scare, but actually uh, this was filmed in February of 2020 and I really didn't think coronavirus would be coming to the United States. Uh, little did I know that the United States likes to be number one at everything, including having the most people infected. So yeah, I thought it would be just like the bird flu, swine flu. I was still careful and wore my mask in the plane, but I just thought that it wouldn't spread as much as it did. I was very wrong. Please wear your mask, wash your hands. Let's continue with the video. And in the airport in LAX, there were a lot of people with masks on. That surprised me because I didn't think that many people would be as scared there, but a lot of people were wearing masks. And then in the plane, there were some people wearing masks. And also when I got here, the uh, hotel lobby uh, staff, receptionists, they were all wearing masks. And then also the security guards, they usually just check your, like your purse or whatever for weapons and whatnot. This time around, they had a thermometer and like um, one of those infrared ones and they would check your forehead like if you like if you had a fever and at a certain temperature i think it was 30 degrees that was written on there they will send you to a hospital basically you can't check in and stuff or like you don't you can't go into the hotel that's kind of scary like you know you're like super tired off from the flight and then you're like i'm just feeling really hot today and then they're like, no, sir, you cannot check in. You gotta go to the hospital. Like, that would really suck, wouldn't it? So that's kind of a different circumstance. But nevertheless, it didn't actually take that long to check in. It only took like uh, about 15 minutes, I'd say, including all of that hullabaloo. So far, I'm cool with this place. I didn't get the breakfast package here because we're only here for one night. Yeah, I mean, uh, I asked if they had a gym. They don't have a gym. That's all right. I wasn't going to go anyways. But the thought of there is a gym makes me feel like maybe I will. Even though I want, I'll just eat. I believe they have a pool. Uh, we'll see if we can check it out tomorrow morning. But otherwise, this is a nice room. It costs uh, about 4,000 something pesos. It's about $80-ish, 80 to $90. I use booking.com. And if that's all that I will be saying, then this is it. We'll see you guys in the next one. That's my Hotel 101 review.